Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront here with a quick look at the demo for Final Fantasy 13 2. This is a playable demo that just came out for the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network. I will be playing it on the PlayStation version. And yeah, let's jump right in. Alright, uh, this is one of the first demos I've seen. They actually require a save data. Uh, just so you know, I have played through this. I originally tried to do this recording uh, blind. And then I realized that there's a lot going on in this, uh, this game that I didn't understand until I got pretty far into the demo. So I feel like this going through it again will give you guys a better understanding of what this game is all about. But really, if you want to understand what the game is all about, it's a free demo. Just download it. <laughs> Same loading screen as uh, Final Fantasy XIII. Eh, that's a little different. That looks like the loading screen. That looks like the logo for Chrono Trigger, kinda. When reaching for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? Alright, here we go. We have Mog, Sarah, and Noel. That's our main party. You can see the ground above wow. us. So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. already with your corny jokes. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's go right into this battle system. Uh, basically, it's very similar to, uh, to the one from Final Fantasy 13. I'm gonna skip this tutorial because I already know what's going on here. Uh, you can see right now we're on the Double Trouble X paradigm, which is two commandos. We could switch over to the Slash and Burn, which is a commando and a Ravager, which is basically a commando is kind of your melee uh, class, Ravager is your magic uh, class. And if you haven't played uh, Final Fantasy 13, basically what you wanna do is you see that uh, meter in the top right that says chain? You want to get that to fill up, and once you get it to fill up, you will uh, stagger the enemy. Once an enemy is staggered, you'll be able to do a whole bunch more damage to them. Sometimes some special effects will happen, like they'll get knocked over or stunned or their armor will open up. And in this case, we want to use the Commando and Ravager combo because Ravager is what you'll use to build up the, the meter. Mando is what you use to uh, to keep it steady. And now we have some uh, quick time events. And I guess that was it. <laughs> Gotta keep on your toes. That's also a new addition to Final Fantasy 13 2. Uh, by completing those events, I think you can see there I got some buffs. So it's definitely worth your while to, uh, to not mess those up, I guess we'll say. And I'm just using auto attacks because I don't have enough abilities right now to make uh, actually choosing abilities worthwhile. 
Uh, might want to switch over to War and Peace though to get some healing. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, another cinematic action. We gotta go right and uh, up and X. Come staggered. All right, now that he's staggered, it'll be pretty easy to, to finish him off. Oh, as soon as we go back to uh, Ravager. There we go. Oh, don't hurt Sarah. What is this music? Come on. I really don't want Sarah to die here. I gotta finish him off. Thunder! Thunder! That's an interesting sword you got there. Action time! Uh, button repeatedly! Fire! Arbitrary numbers! I don't understand why there's numbers there. The, the boss has already been defeated. Okay, we got three stars. They make it a lot harder to get uh, five stars in this game. I mean, you pretty much get five stars in the original by just mashing the, the X button. Alright, after battling a huge arm, Sarah and Noel explore the Brescia uh, ruins for a way to defeat the limb's fully manifested form, the Giant Atlas. To learn more about the base, base controls and other aspects of the game world, access the main menu with triangle and select that. Okay, got it. Track down Atlas. All right, before we uh, head out, because there's some stuff to explore Atlas here. Shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. There might be other gates we can use. A black belt. I'll equip that onto Noel right now. Just optimize it. Doesn't matter. Since he's going to be basically our sentinel tank character. Ooh, another one. 350 gil. We asked the army for help with this investigation. One thing I hope that this game uh, fixes uh, over Final Fantasy 13 is I miss the towns, you know? There wasn't, there were no towns in uh, in Final Fantasy XIII. I guess they were trying to break away from the standard traditional uh, RPG mold that had been uh, set forth by Final Fantasy, I guess, and Dragon Quest. Uh, but it was really linear, and the linear linearity doesn't bother me. Um, I actually thought that once Final Fantasy XIII opened up was when it kind of lost focus, and I, you know, I kind of wanted to be told where to go. Let's see what we have here. So I don't mind the linearity, I just kind of wish that there were, you know, standard RPG towns to buy stuff. Uh, basically all the shops were handled at the uh, safe point, and it kind of took me out of the experience. It took me out of the world, let's say. I didn't really care much of the world of uh, Final Fantasy XIII because it all felt like, you know, it could be accessed from my safe point. Atlas does pose some danger. Right, any more uh, treasure chests? There's one over here. Oh, I want it. How am I gonna get it? I don't Let's see how we get that. Days, but I have to admit, Is there gonna be any way to get that? I wonder what kind of world gave birth to Atlas. Mm. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't want it. 
I see it, it's there, but I'm not sure if we can actually get it. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is find the the shop. I think the shop is right over here. The lady in the chocobo costume. Chocobocalina! Chocobocalina! Get your traveling products here at Chocolina's Emporium. The beauty's all mine, but the products can be yours, but only if you show me the money. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime chalk amazing opportunity, so don't miss out. I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? And what do you have for sale? I thought you'd never ask. Alright, Chocolina is a mysterious traveling merchant who appears all along the timeline. She offers a variety of items to aid travelers. Right, components. Okay, okay, okay. Special weapons and equipment. Let's do it. Alright, so I'll, I'll go over the accessories thing. That's a little too much for me to read, but we'll go over it in a sec. Let's see. Don't have enough to buy a new weapon, looks like. Oh, so close, though. Poison resistance. Don't want any of this stuff. I would like some more HP, though, so let's get that. And... Yeah, I think that's good. I don't think we can use anything else. Have a fantab fantabulous day. All right, let's go over the uh, the accessory settings or the accessory system in this game. You can see that each of your accessories has a point cost there, and my capacity is 50. So right now, I would only be able to equip one more thing if uh, if it had you know 10 capacity points. Uh, even if I have you know four slots so let's go to Sarah As you can see her uh, capacity is 50 once we equip the iron bangle her capacity becomes 20 well you know remaining 20 <laughs> you know what I mean I should take a sick day tomorrow all right uh, I think we're gonna end this video right here and next time we're gonna go into the uh, the combat zone and we'll talk a little bit about the combat of Final Fantasy 13 too so thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.